What is up my fellow beasts, welcome back to a new Call of Duty World War 2 video. Today I'm gonna be talking about the stuff I like about Call of Duty World War 2 so far. I hope that when the game comes out there's gonna be a lot more stuff I enjoy about this game. So I'm not gonna lie, I've been having a lot of fun playing the beta, so much fun that yesterday I thought I was recording gameplay for today but my Elgato was off. It was offline so I got no gameplay yesterday and today I was gonna play to get some gameplay for for this video but the beta is over it's gonna it's gonna be uh, available again on uh, September the 1st so that was a fail luckily I still had one gameplay saved on my computer and it is the gameplay you guys are watching right now it is nothing special I was still level 7 I didn't know what the hell I was doing but you know it is what it is I just wanted some World War 2 gameplay to go with the video so I'm gonna be talking about the stuff I enjoy so far um, about the beta the stuff I've been enjoying so far about the beta and uh, on my previous video I talked about the stuff I don't like and also a lot of people don't like about the beta so if you haven't watched that video yet it is my previous video go check it out if you want to after you watch this one so the first thing on this list I want to talk about is the gun variety it seems that so far Call of Duty World War 2 doesn't just have one great gun there are several guns that are very good and I think that you know the time to kill being so fast also helps with that a little bit so there's people using you know the STG 44 the PPSH the Gris gun the type 100 the Waffle the M1 Garand, the sniper rifles, the shotguns, so people are using a little bit of everything and that at least so far and that is great because it gets boring when people are just using the same overpowered gun over and over again but as I said people are using different guns and that is pretty cool I like that the thing about you on this list is the dolphin dive it is back boys not it's not exactly the dolphin dive I've heard it's called hit the deck uh, because it's it's something quicker it's more like uh, going prone more like a drop shot um, and uh, you know it's cool you can actually shoot if you use a certain perk whatever it's called uh, and you can throw equipment while you hit the deck which is pretty awesome and uh, this is something you couldn't do in Black Ops 1 nor Black Ops 2 with the Dolphin Dive it's not as good as the OG Dolphin Dive but uh, you know it's pretty useful especially when you go when you're taking fire and you want to get faster behind cover or you want to get faster to an objective you want to get those cheeky points uh, so yeah the Dolphin Dive is back a little bit nerfed and uh, you know I just I just miss this thing and I love it even though it's not exactly the same the thing number three on this list is something not a lot of people have noticed so far if you look at the minimap right next to the minimap there are names and those names are the names of all the different areas on the map I you know it's a very simple thing but I think it's pretty awesome because it's very helpful for when you are playing with your uh, friends if you want to say that there's an enemy here or, or there you know the Call of Duties you don't really know what to call a certain area of the map but right now these areas have names and eventually we will learn all these names and it's gonna make it easier for you to tell your teammates where the enemies are so I think that this was a great little addition that people don't really care about because it's not a big deal then we have the thing before on this list the bayonet boys yes I had to mention the bayonet on this list I am super happy this thing is back because the last time we had the bayonet was in Call of Duty World at War then Black Ops 3 had or it has the uh, bayonet on the NX Shadow Claw but it is a DLC it's not a DLC it is a supply drop only weapon so obviously I don't have that shit so I'm pretty happy that this thing is back and I absolutely love it even though I think it's not as good as the one from World at War but it is pretty fun to use then the next thing on this list is the game mode war I also love that thing especially because there is no kill death ratio on this game mode so I think that it's not gonna be super populated with nerds there's gonna you know there's gonna be more casual players uh, playing this thing and I just love it because everyone is gonna be good everyone's gonna look good uh, by the end of the game 
on the scoreboard because you will not see how many times you know little jamie or little mikey died you know so i think that's that's pretty awesome this game mode is also pretty awesome because unlike any other game mode this one takes real teamwork you gotta build turrets you gotta build bridges in order to advance and whatever and protect your tank and all that sort of stuff and i just think that's pretty awesome the one thing there's one thing i don't like about this game mode which is the respawn time i just i hate that shit i don't i don't like having to wait and you know that's why i don't really play this game mode uh, more often but you know other than that it's pretty cool i love the teamwork i played solo the first time and it just sucked it was the worst experience ever so you gotta play it with your friends it's great the last thing about this game mode is that there's a tank and you can get inside the tank unfortunately you cannot control it and fire the cannon but you can shoot the turret it's not a great idea to get inside the tank because you are pretty much a moving target everyone knows where you are it's gonna be very very easy for you to get sniped but uh, you know it's just fun and you can try to go on a killing spree with that delicious mg turret the next thing on this list are the divisions so far i don't know if i prefer the divisions over just the normal creator class but i do like the fact that with each division you get something special like for example there's one division i don't know the names of the divisions, so uh, so forgive me for that but there's one division that gives you a silencer for free which means that you you can use another attachment be another attachment besides that silencer and you can equip and unequip the silencer while you are playing so this is a very unique feature that we have never had before in a call of duty game so that is pretty awesome then there's another division it's the division with the lmgs that give you a bipod for free on your LMGs which is pretty cool because you can just place them on a surface like a window or a barrel and uh, that will make your LMGs super accurate and then there's the uh, division that gives you the bayonet already talked about the bayonet that's pretty awesome then there's another division that gives you an extra attachment on your gun so I like the fact that you know all the divisions give you one unique thing then we have the shotguns my friends and and so far a lot of people are hating on the shotguns they're saying they are super overpowered and they need to get nerfed and whatever I don't think that they are that overpowered they are very good definitely at close range and you gotta keep in mind that these maps don't really have super long lines of sights they have like um, a lot of corners and trenches and whatever besides the snowy map that one has long lines of sights and you don't see people using the shotgun on that one but on the other two it's very normal for you to get owned by players using the shotguns um yes the shotguns are very powerful when um they have the incendiary ammo equipped that's just i love that thing that's why i love the shotguns because the incendiary ammo it's it's pretty much like using a flamethrower you get people on fire how freaking awesome is that then we have the kill streaks ladies and gentlemen so far they are not very powerful but i'm pretty sure that sledgehammer is uh, listening to our feedback and they're gonna buff these motherfuckers so i like the ideas that they had for these kill streaks like for example the molotov cocktail at first i was like why did they make a grenade um, a kill streak. I just I don't uh, I didn't understand at first and it's kind of a weak kill streak But it is the lowest kill streak in the game. So it's supposed to be weak But after using it for a little bit longer, I was just loving running around with molotovs I was just using the molotov as a kill streak nothing else So I just had this thing equipped and I was trying to get as many as possible And I was just spamming this thing all over the place and then we have the paratrooper squad which at this point uh, is like a bunch of GI units um, from uh, Black Ops 3. When it came out, the GI unit was just uh, terrible. But once they buff these motherfuckers, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be a lot of fun. The next thing on this list is the gore, but especially the burning. When you use a Molotov cocktail or when you hit a player with uh, incendiary ammo from the shotguns, they just get on fire and they don't immediately die. After you kill them, they still move and scream for a few seconds and that is just insane i was like oh my god that motherfucker is still alive even though i killed him like two seconds ago so you know that's something pretty cool if you're very sensitive i don't know if you're gonna like it but 
I mean, it's just, I, I think it's very awesome and, uh, it you know, it makes the game kind of feel more realistic and less cartoony and whatever. And the last thing on this list, ladies and gentlemen, is that this game is uh, obviously boots on the ground. It's World War II and I absolutely love it. No more jumping around, no more of that stuff. It's gonna be a great and uh, I also love the maps. So far the maps are looking great. I'm not talking about the layout, I'm talking about the setting of the maps. They just look absolutely gorgeous. It's like 10 times better than these futuristic maps that just... I don't know, I don't like the futuristic maps and I like the uh, World War II setting way more. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, these are the things I've been loving so far about the uh, Call of Duty World War II beta. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace out.